And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's unbox and fit the Miami Orange Pack to my 2022 Citroen Ami. I know a lot of you have been absolutely dying to see this, so let's get into it. Let's unbox this lovely big box of stuff that comes if you buy one of the color pack. So if you buy one of the color pack for your Citroen Ami and you can get orange, gray, or blue, you will get a big box with it like this. And all the accessories that come with it are self-fit. You need to fit them yourself. So let's take a look at what's inside. And this has been opened before. I'm guessing the dealership opened it to check that everything was here. So first up we have the floor mats. And this is that net that goes between the passenger's fruit well and the pedals that I was talking about in the last video. So, Torx T25. Looks like a little Allen key, but it's a Torx head that's on it. I'm guessing we're going to need that for the installation. That all important bag hook that goes on the dashboard. The little OBD dongle that powers the Miami app, which we'll talk about in a separate video. The mobile phone holder, I think as others said, does look quite a lot like ones you can buy elsewhere that don't have the Ami logo on. The storage nets for the doors. Stickers for the side and for the rear windows. And last but not least, of course, the all important wheel trims. So first up then we have those lovely wheel trims and they come in a box of their own. Plenty of packaging as well. I'm not sure I like the, the amount of plastic that they seem to be packaged in given we're, we're, we're trying to talk about sustainability and whatever. But we eventually managed to get these out of their package and unlike a lot of aftermarket ones these actually come with the, the metal rings already attached to them so they're ready to go and it's literally just a case of lining them up with where the valve is and pushing them on. They're a little bit stiff but they go on no problem. This one's pretty easy it's the passenger side floor mat literally just place it in good to go doesn't attach or anything just sits in. The driver's side floor mat, a little bit of a different story. You've got two anchor points that you need to screw to the floor. So there's two screws for each, two Torx T25 screws. Using the included Torx key to, to screw these in was a little bit of a mission. I would strongly recommend you use a proper screwdriver, preferably one that's ratcheting, or even a, a drill or an impact driver or something like that. It would make this much quicker and much easier. Once they're in place, you just click the mat in place and it is done. The nets on the doors require you to screw each of these little catches in place that hold them on. They use self-tapping screws and the, and the holes aren't actually made because obviously you don't need to put these on, they're optional. So with a little bit of screwing, a little bit of effort, these go in. Uh, again, a power tool or a, you can see I'm using an actual screwdriver here. I, I don't think you would actually have much joy trying to do this with this supplied T25 key. It's much easier with the screwdriver. And once those are on, they do brighten up the interior. I think they look pretty good. Um, how useful they'll actually be for carrying stuff remains to be seen, but they at least look good. And then on the driver's side, it's exactly the same story, and I'm not going to show you put, me putting the screws in again. It attaches in exactly the same way, no problem at all. The storage trays on the dashboard couldn't be any easier to fit. They literally, it will take you longer to take them out of the package than it will take for you to actually install them and they just sit in place, no problem at all. There's no actual assembly required here, fairly straightforward. Same story with the phone holder, take it out of its packaging and it just clips on. It looks very, very similar to the phone holders you get to go on air vents. I'm guessing it's a very similar design. It just pushes on and it's done. Once that is all done, the interior looks like a much brighter, much more inviting place to be. It's a little bit grim in its base model form. I think the, the touch of colour just finishes it off. And of course, on the outside, 
Those wheel trims, I think, look absolutely fantastic. So that was unboxing and partial installation of the Miami Orange Pack. I've left the stickers off for now because it's very grubby and needs a good wash. I don't want to risk putting the stickers on when it's not quite perfectly clean underneath. So we'll do that in a future video when I do the OBD dongle and, and setting up the, the Miami app. And we'll bring a special video on that. And I ran into a little bit of trouble trying to fit the bag hook and the net that goes between the foot wells. I'm going to have to contact the dealer for some guidance on that. And I will bring you more information on that very shortly. If you're going to tackle this job yourself, what I will say is the little Torx key that comes with the box is absolutely terrible strongly recommend you get yourself a decent ratcheting screwdriver with a t25 head it will make life much easier for you and when you're doing the door card ones because they're self tappers and you're actually having to make the holes that they go into using the screw power drill or an impact driver would make your life much easier it took ages to do it with a manual screwdriver i'm sure you could save some time by using some power tools but that's it from this video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time